Hello, Virgo darlings. I'm Lorella, and welcome to Lorella's Moon in this bitch. Join as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Y'all already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. Gotta make sure it stay lit. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, babies. Lorelsmo.com in this motherfucker. So, Spirit, you're welcome into this reading. You must sage the cause for the virgin cause, baby. Yes, honey, yes. All right, Virgos, y'all had a hot ass motherfucking video. I fucking love it, damn it. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who listened, tuned in. Hopefully this will resonate just the same, baby. So to my dearest Virgo darlings, I started to do your video and it just cut the fuck off. So that's how I know it's Mercury Retrograde. And y'all know my Virgos is right across the street from the Gemini's. Okay, we share the same mutable shit, okay? But, started to do the video. I was getting into it. I had your cards ready. Able Spirit was talking to me. I was channeling like a motherfucker. And the computer just cut off. So, let's find out what's going on with you off top. Um, when I first did your uh, shuffle, I got the flower power card. Some of you all could be working outside in nature. Okay, you could be just um, taking care of your botanical garden, your gardens. Uh, but I got the flower, the flower power card, and I remember getting uh, you guys getting a lot of new beginnings coming in. I ain't even gonna tell you, okay. So you could be on a business venture, trust and allow, follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So Virgo babies, there is something about nature that I'm getting with you guys saying to also have patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about, have patience. Are there unforeseen factors that need to occur first? So some of you Virgos, there's something uh, not unbeknownst to you and unseen that you haven't seen yet, okay? Uh, some of y'all could be making moves, okay? Making a new life for yourself. All right, so let's see what else. Yeah, connect with nature. Wow. Okay, so you've re you're rejuvenated and inspired. By spending time outdoors. Now, some of you all might not be outdoors, but you might be messing with flowers. Okay, you could be smelling seasonings and shit. I don't know. But Virgo, we got perfect timing here as well. This is the right time for you to move forward. Okay, so like I said, new motherfucking beginnings. All right, let's see what's going on with you off top. I did see the Eight of Swords when I was doing a pre-shuffle. A lot of you guys have a lot of limitations that you feel could be restricting you or you feel blindsided or you feel like things aren't going right for you um definitely could be due to an ending here or just healing yourself five of swords energy ten of swords so i feel like there's an ending could have been a betrayal okay but i feel with this uh betrayal here or this ending okay ending of a phase doesn't necessarily have to mean complete endings over, but it's coming completion of a cycle. Uh, I feel with this death energy, you guys are rejuvenating yourselves. You're coming into a new beginning here. Like I said, a rebirthing with this death energy. This is Plutonian, darling. And while we are in the Mercury retrograde, y'all already know the Virgo Gemini's. It'd be hella communication and shit, but I feel this go around a lot of things will be quite different for you, Virgos. So, rejuvenating, making yourself over again. Um, could be a message of some sort that you might be receiving as well with this nine of wands, with the page of wands. But I feel like there's a lot of regrets or a lot of things that you're trying to withstand the test of time, okay? And just go along with it is what I'm seeing here. 
Now, for some of you guys, you could be having some issues with communication or uh, communicating things. So be aware of that. All right, let me get an advice card because I feel like you guys are really transforming uh, into those butterflies. You're coming out of your cocoon and coming into a butterfly stage. So let's see here. Rebuild. Oh, shit. Now, y'all know how the world get down on the motherfucking buggy. We got rebuilding here. The world is in your hands. All right. Let's see what's going on in the romance department, darlings. Here we go. Romance angels. I was getting a lot of messages in that video. I know Mercury Retrograde fucked that shit up for real. Because my shit never just cuts off like that in the middle of a fucking video. Like, what the hell is going on? All right. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I remember in the other video, Virgo Dollars, you guys had some new love coming in. There was definitely someone who wanted to connect with you. Okay. Your children could be affecting your love life as well. You could have a new baby. Okay. You could have twins. You could have multiple children, one child. You could be a teacher. Whatever the case may be, they could be affecting your life. And I'm seeing here, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Uh-oh. So, guys, pay attention to those red flags. Um, I feel you guys already know who this is talking about, what it's talking about. Okay. Um, I feel with that being said, you might be connected to someone who could be married or you could have been married, but I'm feeling like there's a lot of wedding uh, involvement or there could be a situation that's involving marriage or a connection or a joint unionship or partnership here. Could be under the divine, all right? In this connection, but I feel some of you all need to free yourself. Some of y'all need the control in your life. You could be having a lot of uh, addictions and things of that nature, or somebody who could be holding you back, or you could be holding yourself back. Uh, but it's time to keep an open mind with that as well, too. So your soul may be different from your usual type and expectations, Virgo. So what you expected might not have been. Um, you know, what you thought it was. Okay. Um, this could be that uncle Fester card. Okay. Uncle Lurch. So they might be different than what you're used to, but I'm seeing, um, for some of you guys, it could be that there are some differences that keep you guys apart with the separation energy here, Virgo. And you're going to have to decide very soon what you want. Okay. And also, you guys have some strong feelings for someone. It could be someone new that's come in or someone that you um, are communicating with. So let's see what's going on, darlings. Let's see what's up. All right. So some of you all kind of have detached yourself from someone or you have really like just got tired of awaiting time okay there was something that you seen or there are some things that are unforeseen that your third eye chakra is allowing you to see in your relationship some of y'all's dreams could be coming true baby or go y'all been getting some really good cards um so let's see what's going on between you and your partner I off top see that there could be a third party situation here. Somebody that you detach yourself away from, but there is an attachment here still. Could be children, right? Uh, could be with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, with a King of Swords. You feel stuck, or somebody feels stuck. They feel like this person is stuck to them like glue, baby. Um, but I feel they know that there's extra shit going on. King of cups, uh, four of cups coming in reverse. So for some of you Virgos, you could be knowing that there's other situations or other circumstances that your person or your partner's making, um, action to, or this could go vice versa. Okay. 
But um, I feel there is somebody who's thinking about a connection. Could be a possible Gemini that's coming through. Could be that dreams coming true. Look how he's resting. And you got the lover's energy right next to it. So I feel like somebody's trying to bring in a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right. But I, this could be you, the person that's thinking about communicating elsewhere or communicating somewhere else. But I feel like your partner is stuck to you like glue with that Queen of Wands. They're willing to be down for anything. Okay. Uh, but there is a situation that you guys might be trying to nurture um, or putting a more effort into the time in progress. Okay. Uh, Four of Wands energy here. I feel like some of you guys feel someone's not giving enough or there's not enough giving and the equal take. Equal give and take or the fairness. There was somebody who was being aware or was aware to that, especially with financially. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Pentacle energy here. So there could be some sort of offer or move or some sort of abundance coming your way between you and your partner. Or there was a move and it kind of puts someone in a frenzy with the Nine of Swords. Okay. It has them sleeping up at nighttime. It has them. You know, going a little crazy over you, Virgo. But it could be somebody who has anxiety as well. Um, but I feel... Um, they definitely feel like there's a connection here, a unionship, a commitment. This is marriage here, okay? Somebody has a lot of feelings in this connection. For some of you guys, this is probably what that wedding is all about. Feeling committed, all right, um, or feeling obligated to have commitments, Virgo. But I do see um, there is some sort of movement here. You guys could be having something come out of the blue with the Empress energy and the chariot, some fast movement happening here, okay? Um, I feel like your partner definitely knows that you are a hot commodity, baby. Yeah, Six of Wands, chariot, hell yeah. You guys are the shit, Virgo, okay? Um, now, you could be um, in the limelight, or you could be somebody who's helping people in the limelight, but I feel like you're taking the lead whatever way that it goes, whichever way that it comes. Someone's taking the lead here. They want a new start with you. They want some abundance with you, okay? They want a fresh beginning. Someone could be pregnant here, very fertile as well, but this is you, Virgo, darlings, with this empress. Uh, like I said, I've seen the Eight of Swords, and here it is. So there could be a lot of restrictions uh, that are keeping you behind, or this person feels like there's a lot of restrictions that's keeping you behind towards moving forward with them. Um, I feel like they feel like you're out in the community, Virgo. Uh, for some of you guys getting around and about, they might want to return to you, but it's just not as enough passion there. Could have been some sort of injustice that happened with a third-party situation, or with a child of some sort, okay? Um, but what you don't see is someone knows the truth already that you could have been juggling, okay? Or someone could have been juggling two different things, two different energies here. You could be coming into a clarity or they could be coming clear, becoming clear of uh, the truth that, that has happened. A lot of these things are saying that you're making a final decision, okay? Now, you guys could be having someone new come in, because I have uh, with the Empress energy, the Seven of Cups as well, okay? Also, uh, Nine of Swords could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I don't know if this is a fling thing or what. But your partner or somebody knows what's going on in the dock, okay? The creepers. <laughs> so somebody's being a creep here, okay? For some of you all, it could be watching or you could be watching them. I do feel the Page of Swords coming. Yes, I do. Uh, strength energy here, also nine of cups. So there is someone who wants to make this work, someone who's happy. They're being very patient and diligent um, towards their happiness or wish fulfillment coming true. Definitely could be with children or uh, building something up with children. But I feel there's somebody from the past that wants to return to you, okay? Definitely going to be a lot of communication energy here. Uh, but I feel what you don't see is someone wants, someone is taking a lot of criticism here, but they're still wanting 
um, you know, a new beginning, especially after seeing certain red flags, um, you know, having to think outside of the box with you, Virgo, I feel somebody's like, I want you so bad. They're clinging on to you. But at the same time, they're like still bringing in a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain. This person could be hurt and shit. Just not getting over shit or there's something that they haven't quite gotten over yet. But there's definitely going to be a new beginning. Okay. Full energy, a new journey. So, um, some of you have love coming in for sure. Right. Let's see about possible outcomes. Because I feel this person is yearning for your love. They're sticking to you like fucking glue. They're not letting go. Some of you all just want to break free. Um, but for some of you guys, if you're single, I feel like there's somebody new coming in that has their eye on you. But they have you guys haven't quite met yet or joined up together yet. Now you already know this is Mercury Retrograde. Okay. So I have the Eight of Swords energy here once again. So I feel like there's a lot of restrictions you guys might be having. But at the same time, you're trying to maintain a balance of stability. Ten of Pentacles energy here. Uh, I feel like you guys could be juggling multiple things. Jobs. Okay. Careers. Eat. Just eating. Shit. Just trying to eat every damn day, Virgo. Uh, but I feel like there's going to be a balance here. Okay. Um, I do feel like your person wants to communicate with you. There's definitely some sort of Gemini energy that's smoothing its way on in the door, baby. Could be a connection or a union ship, like I said. But I feel with this Ace of Wands, it's definitely uh, someone who wants a new passion or could be sexually based as well, Virgo. But there is a new beginning. Empress, wow, double, 